Hello! Howdy! <laughs> Sorry for a little bit of a delay there. Had to go use the restroom. My stomach has been a little... Oh! Today! <laughs> it's been hurting a little. But... It's Genshin time! Yeah! Let's go! <laughs> I'll start by just doing my dailies. <clears throat> Let's see, who was I gonna put in here? Oh, that's right, I got friendship time with Mona, so let me take her out. Oh, I'll put... <laughs> Level 69. I'll put Jean in. And... Maybe Rosaria. Yeah. What is... What friendship level is guy at? Oh, eight. No. Four. Okay. Let's see what we've got today. Madam. Ah, pallid. <laughs> Hello there again, Godwin. Glory. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. I accidentally clicked some stuff in OBS. Oopsie. Wow. And then we go back to Godwin. Dun dun dun. Dandelion seeds. That's nice, man. Ah, uh, I had to find them for Eula, and then I just completely stopped. Cause I was like, these are such a pain to farm, you know? And at the time, the only Anemo character I had was Traveler. I need to find them again for Jean. <laughs> ah, but at least I have, um, Sucros now. So farming them shouldn't be as annoying as it was, at least. Yeah, don't claim. So let me get some wood. Yeah, buddy. Alright. Go to the next commission. Increasing danger. I miss the times when I still had Ganyu on my friendship team. I could just shoot them down from the teleport waypoint. Yeah. One more, one more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Oh, let's get his drops. <laughs> Alright, nice, nice, nice. And... Ta-da, ba gorge Oh, 
Oh, <laughs> Raiden. Defeat the Ruin Guard. <laughs> Doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> I was gonna use right and ult on it, but didn't seem like it was worth it. <laughs> Since it was about to die, right? There's like no point in using it then. Is there two more, I think? This one and then... One more? She. Let me go. <laughs> Let me run away. Come on. Da -da. This one, Leyline, protect the Leyline. Leyline monolith. Indeed. Ah, get over here. Come on, don't attack the Leyline monolith. That's not what you want to do. Come on. <laughs> ah, the gosh darn ice shield. Oh, nice, nice. Ooh, <laughs> right in friendship went up. Oh, was that it? I guess so. For the commissions. Alrighty then. Some uh, ley lines now. I'm running out of uh, both more and books, I think. <laughs> I don't think I have any. Yeah, I have no books. And then as for Mora, I have 300,000. That's not too bad. Could be worse. I don't think I bought stuff from the Stardust. Yeah, not yet. Just buy those. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Don't have much. Wow. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, I have seven standard fates. Should I just pull? What pity am I at? I think I got Jean fairly recently. Mmm, yeah. I'm at 15 pity. Yeah, might as well use them, I guess, then. See if we can get anything. Kinda doubt it, but 
Maybe streamer luck. <laughs> to big club. Slingshot. Harbinger done. Magic guy. Oh, four star. Who, what is it gonna be? Oh, Diona! Welcome, welcome. <laughs> oh, another one. Ah. The bell. Of course. <laughs> Would have been really nice, it could just end it off with a 5 star, but it's fine. <laughs> Slingshot. Okay. Well, let's see, what, is, what constellation is Diona at now? I don't think I had many, if any, for her. So I do. Oh! Oh wait, she was C6? Oh. I guess she was on banner for some probably. Ah, she has no artifacts on her. Sorry, Diona. I really should build her. <laughs> yeah, I think I might actually do that, um, the photography event. Mm. Yeah. Well, I'll start it at least, I think. Go look at the person drawing. Asagiri. Ah, no, this is still no good. It won't do. Any further delay and I'll miss the ne next submission deadline. Ah. <laughs> ah, hello, excuse me. Huh? I'm sorry, so sorry, I will submit it today. Well, hang on, we... Miss Moriko, please just give me... Huh? So you aren't Miss Moriko, thank goodness. Ah. So who is Ms. Moiko? Ms. Moiko is my executive editor. My name is Asagiri. I'm a, um, a freelance illustrator of sorts. Ms. Moiko is the executive editor in charge of my work. An illustrator? What does that mean? I suppose you've read some light novels of Yai Publishing House, haven't you? Have you noticed that a light novel usually contains a few pages of pure pictures? Such pictures are what we call illustrations, and those who draw them are illustrators. To serve an important scene or plot, or to give the protagonist a face, some authors will have people draw them in illustration. The illustration not only creates a more immersive reading experience, but also enriches the novel. Oh, Paimon gets it now. It's no simple business to make light novels. I can recommend a few novels to you. For example, <laughs> Are you alright? I'm fine. I've never been healthy, with all the midnight oil burning and meal skipping during my work. Ah, as a result, my health keeps deteriorating. Since you're unwell, why are you still working here out in the open? Can't you draw at home? I'm here to gather some inspiration. My muse has left me recently. I've missed the deadlines for a few illustrations. Miss Monica has postponed the deadlines for me several times. She'll be so mad if I dare delay any further. I was thinking that maybe a walk in the open world open would bring my muse back, so I decided to go on a trip. But as it turned out, <laughs> you see, it hadn't been long before I ended up in this miserable state. <sighs> I'd better put up a request at the Adventurers Guild and see if any adventurer with a camera can help out. Huh? Speaking of the camera, I do have one, but what can it do? I, I wanted to have an adventurer take pictures for me using the camera. 
I've heard about many fascinating locations out there, say, the lofty snow mountain near Mondstadt and the area near Lyra where there are many pillars. And what's more, there's this place named Jiayun Karst. They say that the Adepti live there. Hi! Hello! <laughs> How are you doing? Oh yeah, D4DJ was fun earlier. <laughs> It was fun. I only played it, like, very briefly, but maybe I should start again. <laughs> it's fun, all of the different buttons and the, the slideys, you know? <laughs> yeah. Actually, I should finish watching the anime. I started watching it, but then I don't think I ever got around to finishing it. Good. Yeah, the beat maps are okay, honestly. <laughs> yeah. For us, that guy gameplay is so much fun in comparison. <sighs> mm. Yeah, Project Sekai is so much fun. I love how difficult it is, too. <laughs> I've grown really attached to the characters, too. And yeah, I watched the anime a little bit and I never really finished it. I don't remember it being that good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I feel like I should just for the experience though, you know? <laughs> yeah. The abode of the Adepti. The thought of it gives me thrills. But sadly, my health doesn't allow me to really go there. However, if you can capture the sceneries with the camera, I can surely... Ah! Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Whoa! Take it easy! Leave it to me! Really? That's wonderful! There are many places on my wish list. Give me a second. Let me find the list. And don't you worry about the finances. I have quite some savings. Where is my notebook? Where is it? My notebook. Oh, totally watching D4D when you feel old. <laughs> and Holly, stay for a bit or not. Really pay attention because I don't want to get spoiled on the quest. <laughs> yeah. Makes sense. <laughs> I'm just actually starting one of the events right now. So, it's like the taking photos one. The initial setting of the story is that the author of this manuscript is ending in Mondstadt. This draft is meant to be the cover of the novel's first volume. Mondstadt, the city of poetry, wine, and dandelions. I remember that Mondstadt has this huge Favonius cathedral. Ah, wouldn't that make a great starting point for a great adventure? Huh? The main character's abilities? Since this is Mondstadt, it's got to be a Nemo Powers! Photography target, the Favonius Cathedral. The angle must span three photo-taking points. Character must face the camera. Be using an Nemo elemental skill when the picture is taken. I see. Alrighty. Let's go! Legend of the Wind Knight. I guess I'll probably use Jean then for this. <laughs> Jean Dancho! I'm not sure really what it meant when it said have like span span three photo <laughs> locations though is this fine oh i guess those three things ah 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 let me maybe i'll go up a bit then <laughs> oh i need to be in that bit. oops <laughs> didn't mean to take a picture there okay i guess i have to be in this area then huh here to photograph. Key. And face the camera. There's the three. Oh, let's see. <laughs> Such a bad picture. I'll save it anyways, I guess. <laughs> Let me try again. I want a better picture. Okay. 
<laughs> Not much better. <laughs> I'll save it anyways. I think this is actually worse, isn't it? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> One can't talk about Monset without mentioning the Knights of Favonius. The author's novel is replete with vivid descriptions of the knights in action, so I'm going to need to draw an illustration of the knights in glorious battle as well. I've heard that there's a gigantic, gigantic, gigant, no gigantic. <laughs> cannot speak tree in Windrise that would make for a great photo op. I bet that an illustration based on that location will do great. Eh? That big tree has special significance to the knights? Really? Okay, tell me everything. In front of a certain large, large tree angle must be in two for taking points. Character must be affiliated with the knights of Favonius. Photo taken at 8 to 12. Hmm. Who's affiliated with the Knights of Phronies again? There's Jean. I guess there's also Kaya, Lisa. Is that it? Oh no wait! Ah, Eula! Let's use Eula then. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Actually, is Albedo affiliated with them? I feel yeah, like he is, right? Oh, I didn't... I didn't actually <laughs> change to that party. Oops. Deploy! Is he Albedo? Is he? Oh, he is! I guess I'll pick between the two of them then. Oh, uh, let's see. Where was it? Here. Oh, I, it's probably gonna be crystal flies there too, huh? I think. Feel like they should have respawned? Well, yeah. Alright, crystal fly time. Ah! Okay. <laughs> uh Alright, nice, nice. Oh that one that one's already flying. Okay. Flying away. Yeah, buddy. Alright, nice, nice. <laughs> Hello, Dr. Edith. Okay, and then photo taking point. Shit. Ah, uh, slimes. Okay. <laughs> Pair to photograph. Oh, I forgot even about the time, but. I guess it worked out. Oh, it's gonna... <laughs> it's gonna have the Raiden thing with him. Maybe I should take Raiden out of my team. I don't really want it in the picture. <laughs> Not in this picture, at least. Maybe for a different one would be fine. But... I think I will use Eula. Through her skill. Oh no! Ah, that's a terrible picture! Funny though. Let me try again. When her skill cooldown is over. <laughs> Come on, Yula. Yula. Oh, actually, maybe I think that would be funny. Just like her holding the fish, putting the fish down. Yeah. All right. <laughs> That's a great picture. <laughs> Claim rewards. An inn that is full of guests despite being out in the boonies. It sure has an, an amazing aura of mystery. Hmm, I wonder if the boss or lady boss conceals unbelievable skills. And it would be nice if we also had a seemingly ordinary and lax. A very powerful man, and a handsome lad who always has a cold expression on his face. Ah yes, and they need a cook, too! I'm sure this is going to be a fun drawing session. This is such a lovely scene. 
Ang shuen. Tiong ting tiong tiong pom pom. It's over there. Wait, which way was it? It's to the east, yeah. Southeast-ish. Yep. Music here is so good. Am I headed in the right direction? Ah, yes, yes, yes. I can see the little, the gold thingy there. Yes, yes. <laughs> And I guess it doesn't need to be a specific character, but... Hmm... Maybe I'll put... I'll take a picture of Kaching. Different taking points. I'll do this one. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's kind of a terrible photo too, but... Try taking another one. Sounds cooler, I guess. Wait. Ah. <laughs> uh. mm. yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Oh, I mean, I guess it didn't work out for the event, but... Oh, because the time passed, I guess. I guess it's probably past noon in-game, huh? Anyways, it's fine. <laughs> Got it with the previous one, so... Yay! This author hopes that I can draw a full panorama of Dragonspine. However, Dragonspine is so big. I'm not sure if there's any angle from which you can get all of it. Hmm. Wait, if we drew this scene, it would really feel more like a picture you would put at a story's conclusion. Speaking of which, Bismoniko is pretty fond of dragon's spine. Okay. Character must face dragon spine. 11 to 14. Mm. Where is it? <laughs> if I leave here. Uh. I guess I have to take this picture then, huh? Let's see... 11 to 12, or what was it? 18 to midnight? Yeah... Kitchen. Do an idol. Come on, kitchen. Idol. Do the school one again. You know you wanna. Okay. <laughs> Wrong idol, but yay. Okay. Uh, and then dragon spine. Yeah. Where is it? Um, not showing up. So I need to go again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, okay. Over there, huh? Yeah. Wait, what were the requirements for this one again? 
Is there a requirement for character? No. Maybe I'll do Alvedo for this one then. He is a dragon spine guy. Oh, I forgot about the time. 11 to 14. 11 to 2. Let's see. Here. Oh, there are the photo taking points. See, maybe I'll put down his uh, flower. Actually, no, I'll wait for him to do an idol. I think either one would look really pretty. Yay! <laughs> Oh wait. Oh the characters be facing Dragon Spine. Oops. <laughs> Oopsie doopsie. What if I <laughs> what if I place the flower down and then get on top of it and then take the picture like that? <laughs> yeah, I think it's pretty. Kinda wish I was in the more in the center of the flower though. I'll take it again, just for funsies. <laughs> Alright. Claim rewards. Proper use of thunder, lightning, and blades. Did you know that there is a region in Mondstadt that once belonged to the Great Wolf King of the North? I've heard it mentioned in, in this book that he was once a regional god, that he was related to both ice and wind. I was thinking that adding some lightning to the scene might make the battle even more awesome. Why lightning, you ask? Well, lightning's just cool. Not to be challenged lightly, you say? Well, alright. Let's just have the lightning, shall we? And make it very cool. This is going into a cover page, you know? Be ever you gonna shower, have fun? Alright, see you! Have a good shower. <laughs> All of them. One photo taking point. Electro Elemental Burst. Hmm. Who should I use? Actually, where, where is it? <laughs> oh, it's just there. Okay. Hmm. Which character should I use? Like maybe Lisa would be good since she's, you know, Electro and from Monstat. Let me see what Electro characters I have. It's Raiden and Yaya. So, oh, official actually. Maybe official. <laughs> oh wait, I just realized that if it's official, it's just gonna be Oz. I guess that's fine actually, maybe that'd be funny. <laughs> Almost there, catching. you got this. Photograph. Let's see. 
Kind of scared I'm not gonna tie ride and then I'm gonna lose the burst. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a better picture. You can see the thing, but... Yeah! Oz! <laughs> oh, so each one of these gives primos, huh? How many are there? Five, six, seven... 14 of them. 14. Wait, did I do that calculation right in my head? Hang on. That, that's a that's a lot of primos. What is that? Oh, I forgot. I, yeah, I was trying to look it up on my iPad, but... I don't have a calculator app on there. <laughs> Hang on, what? 30 times 14. Ah, okay, 4, 420. Haha, <laughs> 420 plays it. Um, <laughs> no, but. Also, there is like, uh, I don't know what they're doing, but they're doing some stuff, like, right outside my window at the apartment. So, it's probably, I think it's, the mic is catching it, which is unfortunate, but nothing I can really do about that. But, I think I'm gonna actually get some water and also go to the restroom because, ow, oh, stomach! Ah! But, BRB. <laughs>
Alright, I have returned. <laughs> Sorry about that. Took me a little bit. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> I got some more water too. And um, I got a little snack. Got a Kit Kat. <laughs> This adventure novel is related to Qingce villages. Uh, how do I read this? Qi. Yeah, it's got to do with this Qi thing. That said, I'm pretty sur sure Qingce village is a really sleepy place, isn't it? Sleepy. Mm -hmm. yeah, Qingce village. Angle must span three photo taking points. Character pictured must be idling. From 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Right? Yeah. Here really has like a connection, right? To Chinsa. Chinsa. Mm. You are this young. Jiangling Idol. It would be the one where he comes out. <laughs> Yay! This manuscript requires the main character to unleash a fearsome attack? Well, this is rather vague, isn't it? Why does Miss Monica always send me these seemingly ordinary but difficult to draw manuscripts? <laughs> oh, Catalyst! Tianchu Valley. Tianchu. <laughs> hmm. You want to use Yamfe here? Above. Oh, oh. <laughs> Only person that's built here is Kuching. Well, I mean, and Barbara, of course. Oh, she's out of stamina. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> Where is it? Ah, over there. Okay, hmm. and then Yenfei. Then 
charged attack. Ah, the zero. Oh well, whatever, good enough. <laughs> Claim rewards. Speaking of which, I've been stumped by a certain manuscript for a while now. The main character here is about to enter their final battle, so the light novelist asked if I could draw a spread page illustration with a formidable look. What I'm thinking is that we should use an image in which the main character is facing the frame and initiating an attack. That should have that should have the expressive uh, expressiveness we need. That said. I haven't thought of an angle yet, and I don't want to find someone to attack me. So please help me out here. Near the uh, highway. Angle must span to photo catalyst. Let's see. Let's see what the rest of these are, too. This is also a request from that novelist from Li Yue. The novel he wrote is still ongoing. This time he would like a cover image of the main character wielding their sword at night. I mean, I've done images like this pretty often, but I'd like to try something new this time. Traveler, do you know if people from the year have unique ways of using the blade? A sword user? Well, just as use normal attack. Must be from the year, though, character. A warrior standing silhouetted against the sunset. This commission seems normal enough. A cover page, perhaps? Something that can be signed on and used in promotional material. Still, we need to spice this one up a bit. Also, how is this novel series still ongoing? I can't help but feel that it should have ended in the first volume. Savage. Jerrying Karst. Thing. Idling. Oh, this is bad. So there's this author. <laughs> bad. Oh, this is bad. So there's this author who wanted me to draw an illustration that shows a deep valley. I tried using a few places in Inazuma for reference, but he wasn't pleased with any of them, saying that he would like me to reference this place called the Chasm in the uh, Traveler, could you please help me see what the chasm looks like? What's the theme of this novel? Um, if I remember this right, it was about an adventure team exploring an underground space. I see. Chasm. Geo-elemental skill. I have not explored the chasm yet at all. The chasm. Just the sound of it gives one the impression of danger. But if a dash of color could be added to such a perilous place, it might make things more, more interesting. Traveler, could you please help me find this dash of vibrant color in the chasm? And these are... Oh, these will unlock tonight, I suppose. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> I think I'll stop here then, and I'll do the rest later. Just like when they're all unlocked, you know? I'll do them at once, yeah. Quest time now. Yay! <laughs> Let me just get these real quick. <laughs> Think about that. This is the Catherine Lear. <laughs> 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 
誰と会っても嬉しい気持ちになれそうです<笑>はあオイラたちほぼ毎日会ってるけどなキャサリンが喜んでくれてるなら別にいっか<笑> An unexpected reunion perhaps ああお前の気持ちオイラもわかるぞミコさんの言ったことが当たってるといいなだってお前のお兄さんはそのお時間がご様子、yeah. 私何か触れてはいけないことを言ってしまったのでしょうかあいや大丈夫だ気にしないでくれそれよりも依頼の話に戻ろうぜなんええそれでしたらちょうどいい依頼があります甲府の方からの依頼でして双眼鏡園を調査してほしいとのことですえそこって封鎖されてたよなもう解除されたのか詳細については依頼人の月木さんに聞いてみてください彼は今双眼鏡園の近くにいるはずですおう分かったありがとうなキャサリンそれじゃ出発するかはい星と深淵を目指せえー、っと<笑>今回は本当に深淵を目指しているようですね。幸運を祈ります。Thanks, Catherine.Requiem <laughs> of the Echoing Depths.Oh?World <laughs> Quest? Mm. Ah, it's you. Well, are you here to brave the chasm by any chance? The chasm. Paimon's never heard of any commission like that. Paimon impression is horrible. <laughs> oh, uh, you don't know about the guild's commissions yet? Sorry, that's my mistake. Well, the chasm has been closed for a long time now. No one can go in without the Chishing say so. Not even the Adventurer's Guild. No special pass for you guys? Well, we wouldn't dream of being a bother to the people at Yujing Terrace. It would be a counterproductive thing to do messing with pre established policy like that. <laughs> Even Miss Gung, who seems like the most amicable of the bunch, would probably just smile at us and say, Why don't you have some tea while you wait here? Then she'll leave you hanging for most of the day until you start wondering whether she'd forgotten all about you till she was nearly off from work. <laughs> hmm. And as we all know, Miss Gunyu never gets off work. Whoa! That certainly does sound like a very Gunyu esque way of refusing. Either way, this means that Miss Catherine isn't going to, out, going to be giving out any commissions about the chasm anytime soon. Instead, we've got to find more convenient people to help us out in private. Convenient? Yes, like for example. Miners from Huishang Hall, members of the Millilith, staff at the Ministry of Civil Affairs. They can get passes to go in more easily and. And what? Well, so what I'm saying is, O valiant hero who saved the Yue from the sea monster, it seems to have nothing to do all day every day. Surely you can go. To, surely you can talk to the Millilith on our behalf. No idea who you're talking about. I'm talking about you. Come on, she was definitely talking about you. Don't play dumb. Who do you think I'm talking about? Vex Lapis? Hehe. <laughs> Alright, quit your bragging. Whatever the case, you have our thanks for your help so far, and we'd like you to consider helping us again. It's fine if the timing isn't convenient for you, it's just that if you do end up passing through the chasm, please help me look for a fellow named Ring. Ring. Who's that supposed to be? He's a specialist sent to the chasm by the Ministry of Civil Affairs. We've got some personal matters that need settling. You can ask him about it if we meet him there. Just pass this message along. You still owe a lot of money for drinks. Don't you forget that. He'll get the picture. Got it. I'll keep an eye out on the way in. Wait, hold on a moment. Ah, there's one more thing. If you take this commission up, just negotiate your payment directly with Mooning. Don't ask me why the arrangement is like this. We did this at the ministry's insistence. Best not to question their decisions and all. Hmm. Alright, well. 
Hmm, how should I get there? Oh, okay, I'll go from here, I think. Ah. Hmm. I changed my team also. <laughs> this team... Only two characters are built here. <laughs> mm. I put in Albedo. I have gone new too. Hmm. This is... This will be fine. Let's go! Yeah! <laughs> Wahoo! Quite far away, huh? 365 meters away now. Barbara, Ikuyo? <laughs> I'm just gonna pretend like they didn't notice me. Aww. Nemo slimes. Well, not little, but they're little to me. They're so cute. They're just little babies. Should I fight them? There's no chest. <laughs> Soldiers. Halt! The chasm is sealed off. If you're an outsider, please. Oh, it's you. Oh no, run! <laughs> Paimon, come on now. Ha 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 ha. Sorry for scaring you. Of course I remember you. How could I forget the person who saved my life? I was only recently transferred here myself. Didn't think I'd possibly meet you here. Guess I'm a lucky guy, eh? We saved you? Did we do that? Oh, come on now. I was just at the... I was at the Jade Chamber when we fought that sea monster together. I was lightly injured and only returned to my post recently. You might not remember me, but I'll never forget you. All our comrades who fought that day witnessed what you did for Liyue. Could you tell me a bit about the chasm? Two years ago, an unknown incident occurred deep within the caverns, and the Qixing gave the order to close the place. The miners were largely evacuated to safety. It's just a shame that such a huge mine seized production, just like that. The workers took their compensation and went their separate ways. Once such a gathering of people is dispersed, I fear it may be difficult to get them back together again. Um, sorry, I got a bit off topic there. I believe that you must be on important business, so I won't bother you any further. If you have any questions, just ask Mooning directly. You should be at the campsite at the mine entrance. Also, uh, it's not that I don't trust you or anything. It's my job to remind you not to do anything that breaks the law, alright? I'll be careful. <laughs> Don't worry, you can trust us, come on! <laughs> Alrighty, well... Let's head forward. Oh? Ooh! Pretty music. Investigate. <laughs> Yay. Teleport waypoint. Nice, nice. <laughs> yeah. Let me go up the stairs real quick. <laughs> Him. Ten crates of meat, ten crates of vegetables, various amounts of firewood and camping equipment to be given to the middle of outpost. Three crates of various ores to be sent to the Hoishan Hall warehouse in exchange for spare parts of tools and various amounts. Alright, sorry for making you wait. What do you need? Ah, it's you. Eh? Since when were we all that familiar with you? <laughs> I mean, you're all the heroes who saved Liyue. 
Your deeds are remembered by us all. Since you're here at the chasm, you must be here on some important business, in which case I'm sure you must have a permit from Lady Kuching, right? Um, we don't. <laughs> really, I mean, sorry to trouble you. Since you must be very familiar with Lady Ningguang, a permit from her might hold still more weight. Could I see it, please? <laughs> <laughs> well, the Lord Tianshu, Tianshu is reclusive yet approachable and also has great vision and the good of the people at heart. Surely he was the one who gave you permission to enter the chasm, then? Ma maybe? <laughs> In that case, would you mind letting me see your papers? Da -da -da. Huh, I guess you don't have that either. Well, Miss Ganyu works at Yujing Terrace, supporting the Qixing directly, so I'm sure her opinion would be in lockstep with theirs. You at least have her permission, don't you? Actually, you know what? We could have just asked Ganyu to sign off on this. I can uh, go look for her right now. Da da da. Da da da. Da da da. <sighs> so, you've come at a bad time. This is really not the season to be visiting the chasm. The Ministry of Civil Affairs is still working on eliminating a great safety hazard within, since it's still very much a danger zone. If you have been commissioned by some merchant to urge us to open the mine faster, then I suggest you read the report I submitted to Shongnur Hall carefully. Uh, what's this person talking about exactly? Could you tell me more about the cast? We still have Balmora for drinks, don't you forget that. Eh? Oh, so that's what you're here for. Mm. All right, all right. These adventurers. Can't ever trust them to come out and speak their minds. All right, then. If you have any questions, ask away. I will answer them, provided that I know the answer. Can you tell me more about the chasm? Right, so about the chasm. If you don't in intend to leave just yet, you're free to explore the area a bit. But please do keep your actions within the remit of Liyue's law and statutes. The toots. I should mention, though, that there is a place that that I highly recommend you avoid. For example, the great mine in the center of the chasm has had a seven-star array cast over it, by which I mean exactly what I say. It is a seal placed over the area by the Qixing. Well, that's quite the clear explanation. Ah. As for the weak, I mean, focal point of the array, it lies in the bedrock keys surrounding the area. These are placed by the Qixing themselves. Connected in series, they affix the energy flowing through the array. The area around the bedrock keys have seen an abnormal amount of geo-elemental coalescences. It's almost as if the thing beneath yearns to finally emerge. Uh, never mind me. I was just talking to myself. So yes, that's how things are. Please do not, and I repeat, do not go near the Seven Star Ray. Don't even think about going down there to explore. Well, now I really want to go. <laughs> The bedrock keys are definitely not losing structural integrity, and the surrounding areas are most certainly not plagued by any strange geo-elemental convergences, so please don't you think of doing anything at all. <laughs> but... Hmm, I know what you're going to ask. There are most certainly no precious treasures down there, nor are there any prehistoric fossils to be had, and banish any thoughts you have about giant ancient ruins. Yes. Please do not bear any fruitless expectations toward this place. The way you're saying all this is super suspicious. <laughs> not even mushrooms will grow down there, nor are there wish-granting stones, and there are definitely no sailors who grow, sh who grow strong just by eating mushrooms. Again, do not get your hopes up. <laughs> wow, he's so convincing. Uh, yeah, sure. There's no need to be so fierce. <laughs> Anything else I should look out for? I suggest that you go speak to... Zhichong first. She, kno she is an adventurer hired by the ministry and was once a miner here. She knows the chasm's geography like the back of her hand. Also, let me write your certification real quick. When she sees it, she'll know that you're trustworthy. That said, I must warn you, warn you that Zhichong is definitely not the sort of person who has trouble standing still and definitely has no thoughts of undoing the array and having a look underground. So there's no way that she would ever put a team of idle adventurers together to brazenly enter hazardous areas. As such, you can forget about asking her to help you enter the chasm mines. Uh, yeah, I got it. <laughs> as long as you understand, we're good. In which case, I won't take up any more of your time. <laughs> sure, sure, what don't you say? <laughs> um, let's see, what was the... 
lower oh this guy's the miner right let me investigate here first okay It's complicated. So, Wagata. Mazo, a Jiko Shoka, you sassed a great. Oreo gets ski. Three centuries, so gun. Eh? So gun to end of Sykes to Jokate, Moraira Mononoka? Ah, Joke, I know that's Ramu yet to use the Kikuri Natera. Daga Saikin, do almost keep you on a cotoga oxidina. Kimiona Koto. Ma, taste the cotoja nine daga. Aruhi. うちの候補が休憩していたらただそのヒルチャールたちは彼に目もくれずそれから何日か彼が様子を見ているとあの人あいつらはどうなったんだ so it the Kanga got Sigitsuki to call that not a mau yogi. Sonoki Mochi, wait a moa caruso. Kita da kid, Toria da got that dicta. Strange is definitely the right word. Ah, it's cara mare kyofkoso. It's it to Konoi, wait a tati, don't you get no car? Sono Kofsan. We'll take it. <laughs> when strange things like this happen, I'm inclined to think the Abyss Order is involved. <laughs><笑> せっかく手に入れたサイクス許可だ。俺も無駄にはしたくない。お、おいらたちに任せろ。そうか、助かるよ。うん、助かる。Enter <笑> the chasm. Underground mines. Is that? Oh wait. Young. Yeah. Already. Oh, oops. <laughs> Didn't mean to ult. Let's go down, I guess. Oh, there's, uh, there's some stuff here. Oh, I wonder if I should... Maybe I should get Yula out for breaking rocks. Meh. <laughs> Yeah. These ones aren't even that bad. Let me get you loud. <laughs> Sorry, Kaching. You <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah, and then this was, uh,. New mechanism, right? How does this work exactly? Oh, do we need to hit it, right? Was it geo attacks? What was this? <laughs> How do I solve this? Oh, there's a person there. Let me get the Chimchin first. <laughs> really isn't hitting it, I guess, huh? Let's see the warning sign first. Key site, bedrock key up ahead, no unauthorized access. 
Those who damage the structure will invite the personal wrath of the Qixing. If you have any questions, just direct them to specialists at the campsite. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's talk to Zhi Chong. Ah, it's you. Hello there. Morning was the one who introduced me. This is his. Yes, yes, forget that sheet of paper. I already know who you are just fine. That morning, all he does is put on airs and write papers. Everything's gotta follow this or that procedure and all that tripe. <laughs> you know, stuff that makes you look important. I couldn't care less for that stuff. In any case, your name is already well known throughout the Adventurers Guild. Never mind any of your other contributions to the year. <laughs> I'm that famous? <laughs> of course. Many new recruits at the guild have heard of your exploits on Dragonspine from Iris. <laughs> that includes me, you know? Piercing the frigid blizzard to open a path, discovering an ancient forgotten kingdom beneath the ice and frost, reaching that perilous summit, confronting the great change that came over the place with the mortal form. The things you've experienced, the obstacles you've overcome, the truths you've uncovered, it can be summed up in one word. Adventure! True adventure! Precisely! <laughs> wow, this is actually quite a shock to Paimon. Are we really that awesome? <laughs> and this isn't even mentioning the great battle you had with that sea monster on the Jade Chamber. And I wasn't there to witness it, mind you, but I haven't missed a single telling of that story. Huh, so there are stories about us, too. Of course! They are very popular in the city, you know? If you ask me, I'd say that Tea Master Liu Su and Iron Tongue Tian are both good in their own way, but I prefer Iron... Um, I'm not too familiar with the storytelling tradition. Oh, don't worry, I get it, I get it. Oh, yeah. Iron Tongue Tian's style is definitely not for everyone. I do sometimes find that his choice of words and phrases feature too much slang. But as for Liu Su, he takes a while to get going, you know? Sometimes you're there for two hours before you start going, Oh hey, this is pretty good. Some people like that style, but I find it uninteresting. And if you mean to say that this is just a story, it won't get stale. Let me go say this. If this were food or drink that we were talking about, it would surely go bad if we wrapped it up and covered it for half a day without opening it up. Ugh. Oh, are you alright? Something wrong with your throat? No, no. It's probably just a case of too much information. <laughs> TMI. Oh, um, sorry. I got a bit too excited there and didn't really consider if you were interested in what I was saying. <laughs> Still, since you're here, Prana, Prana, <laughs> are you here at the Qixing's behest? Did Runing end up revealing some other information to you? Um, you know, like, don't touch the bedrock keys. There's nothing under the chasm. Zhichong won't help you. You know, stuff like that repeated over and over. Runing didn't indeed tell us all that. <laughs> well, he didn't scare us. <laughs> Indeed, he wasn't doing that at all. Eh? Oh, so what was he interesting in saying? Uh, well, Burning is, in the end, a specialist hi by hired by the Ministry of Civil Affairs. Even if he wanted to ask for help, there's not a lot that there's a lot that he's not allowed to reveal in public. So we can only warn us, and thus impart the means of getting into the chasm to you in a roundabout way. In essence, when he says you shouldn't. He really means you can. What a weird guy. In any case, you also mentioned that he wrote you a certification and told you to come find me. That note which you carry, which you now carry, means that you had the authorization to travel through the chasm without any obstruction. Of course, barring any personal intervention by the Qixing. And the fact that he suggests that you find me means that I should tell you the way into the depths of the chasm. What a convoluted way of hinting. <laughs> well, for what it's worth, I apologize for all the covering up that we're doing. But trust me, we have very good reasons for doing so. Well, the thing that they dug up under the chasm is truly abnormal. Our investigations cannot be done with too much pomp and ceremony, lest the people be alarmed. That is the Qixing's standing order. 
As such, we can only function under the cover of a no-entry order, secretly gathering explorers and scholars to enter the chasm and conduct investigations. <laughs> this is all to, if necessary and where possible, stave off the crisis that festers beneath the earth. So all the people at the encampment were... That's right. They were all brought on as support staff. They're all pretty reliable. Uh, well, mostly. And you came here is also no coincidence. More than one big shot in the teaching has already recommended that we enlist your aid. And honestly, we have little reason not to comply. In any case, it is also said that your aid is not necessarily difficult to enlist. Eh? Doesn't that mean we are tricked? Oh, is that how it is? See ya then! <laughs> eh? Are we at least going to ask them what they're offering? Uh, please wait. I was just passing on my superior's message. Those were her words, not mine. Just, uh, let me take those words back, alright? <laughs> Come on now, this is the teaching we're talking about. They won't shortchange you for your aid. <laughs> it's not as if I'm short on Mora or anything. Totally not. <laughs> Paimon too! Well, that said, having one Mora isn't a bad thing. <laughs> well... If we could mitigate the safety hazards in the chasm, any underground treasure or valuables will be given to the one who discovers them. This is a special privilege given by the Chishing, just to the two of you. Really? No tricks now? Well, in that case... <laughs> That's right! Treasure! <laughs> alright, alright. Can we safely say that you've accepted this commission then? Alright, I'll do it for you, Paimon. <laughs> That's right! Again, let me apologize for wasting your time on all these other things. Let's get down to business, shall we? Yes, let's. If we wish to enter the chasm, we first need to find an adjuvant made from a material known as lumenstone. Only with it can we move in the dark down there. Only those with visions can use this adjuvant, but considering that you can use elemental energies without a vision, it's my guess that you should have no problem making use of the adjuvant. So, where do we find this thing? It's in a warehouse to the south. The warehouse is well guarded, so it should be pretty secure. Just come back once you've gotten a hold of the catalyst. I see! Alrighty then. Miner's warehouse. Meh! <laughs> Got on a branch. Come on, no one's going to this place at all. Oh. Mm. <laughs> there are now. <laughs> yeah. Where's the last guy? Oh, over there. Yeah. <laughs> I cannot aim. <laughs> In that clitopho guy, so that there's no one standing guard. Lumenstone. Oh. Nothing else in here, right? Mm -mm. Storehouse renovation notice. Due to the recent. Certain surge of anom anomalies within the chasm. The revenation of the storehouse has been stopped. All workers, please halt work and stand by for further notice. Notice, the old storehouse will be kept as is for the use of the millith and any ministry staff may come to observe the area. Hmm. It's a cobweb there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Berries. <laughs> oh, slime. Me? <laughs> Sorry, little guy. <laughs> We're back, you big liar. Eh, me? What happened? <laughs> there were even treasure orders over there. No one was guarding the warehouse at all. And even they were wondering why no one was guarding the place. Huh? 
That shouldn't be the case. When I was guarding the place, the treasure hoarders wouldn't even dare come near it. Wait a moment. Who did you say was guarding the warehouse again? Uh, me? Well, are you guarding it right now? Well, come on now. Which adventure in their right mind would let themselves get tied down with such a boring task, am I right? She ditched her job. <gasps> ah, right. Da da da. Da da da. Da da da. Well, putting your putting your dereliction of duty to one side for the time being. Let's talk about how we'll undo the array instead, shall we? R right. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not too sure about how the bedrock key works, but you could start by looking into those cage-shaped geo-elemental formations over there. What is that? What is that? These strange formations have been puzzling the Ministry of Civil Affairs for some time now. They seem to have grown up from the bedrock of the chasm over the last two years, and their properties are very similar to those of the thing underground. We say this because they can undergo some kind of disintegration when under the influence of the anomalies. Later, Hui Shan Hall's investigations revealed that they have been absorbing geo-elemental energy from the surroundings, slowly eroding the structure of the bedrock keys. It is the most ominous phenomenon. Almost like something is consciously trying to break the ceiling array. We have to clear them out twice every month. They will always go back quickly, and they've only go back, grown back quicker over time. Perhaps that thing below is growing restless, and that is why the Chishinga sent us to investigate. Look for a way to destroy the bedrock keys. Hmm, maybe I get this first? Ah, oh, okay. Well, as for how we should remove the bedrock key here, you could try hitting these formations and use the shards they release to affect the bedrock keys, perhaps. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, let's get this one now. I <laughs> got some wood. Oh, it's sand bear wood. I need that. I don't have much of it. There it goes. <laughs> Got the shivers. Well, that should do it. <laughs> so sorry for my terrible Paimon impression. <laughs> Her voice is just so high. I cannot do it. That Qingxing over there is really tempting me. I don't even need to farm anymore, really, but it's just like... You know? <laughs> ah, that was the wrong button. Mmm, meant to press G, not J. Cage shaped. Oh, geo formation. It's question mark. Mm. Yeah. These are natural precipitates that occur around the bedrock keys used to seal the chasm. When outside forces powered by a geogranum hit them... Sorry. <laughs> it will fire crystal, crystal projectiles. The firing direction depends on the direction from which they took a hit. Perhaps they might be able to affect the bedrock keys in some way. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Huh, you destroyed, I mean, undid the bindings on the bedrock key so easily. Guess we are right to put our faith in you two. <laughs> I'm quite sure we just double <laughs> damaged public property. Won't the Chishing investigate this matter? Eh. Running has already sent already sent a damage report ahead of us, so technically the bedrock keys were damaged before we arrived, not after. Well, that leaves four more that we need to handle. 
Ah uh, yes, I've drawn a basic diagram that shows where three of the four are. I hope it'll be of use to you. As for the last one, honestly I'm not very sure where that is anymore. After the miners were dismissed, there was a seepage incident in that mine, causing the cylinder to be submerged under the waters. So there's the three. In any case, just settle the other three sites. I'll meet up after that and think about what to do next. Not coming along with us? Not this time. I mean, I was originally assigned to guard the warehouse, but thanks to my slip-up, I nearly let the treasure hoarders in there. Honestly, I'm already in your debt for not reporting my error. Things could get bad if Moonin catches me and puts me on the trial of some errands again, so I'll just stand guard as I should. For now. <laughs> Still, I believe that this riddle will be no match for the two of you at all. <laughs> Thanks for the vote of confidence, I guess. Alright, let's see. Mm -hmm. Where was it? It's Godwin's letter. Vahid's needed onigiri. Lemon stone. A special stone mined from the depths of the chasm. It is said that it has catalytic properties. It almost blazes with light in the gloomy mines, but it loses all such effects the moment one leaves the chasm. It seems to have other unique properties as well that have yet to be discovered. M key diagram location. Hmm. Here, here, here. Where are we now? I guess this is where we are, probably, so we'll just go there. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, it, it has a... Uh, they're on the map for us. How kind. <laughs> oh, actually, what is this? Unique rock pillars. Legend has it that these are scars left over from an ancient battle. When hit by explosions or blunt force trauma, they can cause a resonant quake with other similar rock pillars in certain geo constructs. I see. Chest. <laughs> hmm. Are there any nearby? <laughs> Didn't seem like it. Hmm. Well, silly. Hee <laughs> hee. Beat these guys up. <laughs> There's no reason for using Alvedo's normal attacks. <laughs> Hayaku. Still need to get. 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 Four piece pale thing for Eula. I'm sorry, Eula. <laughs> Your domain just never gives me good artifacts. <laughs> I mean, she's like, honestly, she's not that bad. She's just not super strong. <laughs> she has decentish artifacts on her, I would say. Oh, let me get the. Or. <laughs> Telephone waypoint, let's go. <laughs> Ooh, they're coming to fight me. <laughs> so terrible at aiming. Oh, uh, no, there's still one way there. I was like, there's the last guy, right? Yeah. Man, they ran a pretty far distance, huh? <laughs> um. Let's go get that chest first, I suppose, then. Mm. And then let's follow the Sealy. Yeah. Let me investigate. <laughs> oh. 
Nice. Yeah. Shivers. Uh, I hate spiders. Okay. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Take that. Scary monster. Here's one of those keys. Let's blow it up. Share thing, Paimon. Huh. Ah, Geo Slimies. Yoima remembers Chichong saying that we need to hit this weird cage thing so it'll release some fragments, right? Momaki <laughs> nasai! One down there. Mm. Which one should I use for which? I guess it doesn't really matter that much, right? Okay. I wonder. Ah, uh, I was thinking, will the altitude matter? It will matter. <laughs> Need to go to the higher up one, probably. Mm, yeah. Man, should have climbed the rope there. Oh, there's a chest. Hi, right, buddy. Let's fight. Oh, there's there's a couple of them, huh? Yeah, I miss. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Yeah, it's here. <laughs> okay. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> Exquisite chest. Nice, nice. <laughs> okay, uh, what was I doing? Going to bridge. To the higher one. Wait, where was it? <laughs> oh, oh, it's this one, it's this one. Okay. Now. Geogranum. Alright. Bam! Alrighty, and then last one. Will it still be activated? Ah, yes, it looks like it. Yes. Bam! Yeah. Also, ooh, I see the jade right there. <laughs> Give me that. <laughs> it's gone. Paimon wonders how these cage related objects and the lumen stone are related. Right. Give me the jade. Oh, that's not jade. Archaic stone. A rare stone, rare ore. Mm. I was like, where did the Sealy go? Is there anything over there? No, it was just a flower. Oh, whoa! <laughs> Uh, wait, hang on, let me look at the, read the description of the stone really quick. Archaic stone. A strange, rare ore that was mined from the chasm. These rocks can only be found in the ore veins of the oldest mountains. It is so rare that most merchants have probably never heard of it. However, the changes in the chasm have led to the emergence of a much low quality... Much more low quality? Archaic stone. A fact that has given the merchants of Huishan Hall quite the headache. <laughs> bum bum bum. Oh, and it's over there. Ceiling. Oh, there's a chest here. 
Where are the how do I how do I get the chest? <laughs> Just the slimes? I guess there are three of them, huh? <laughs> that actually does a decent amount of doing them, but before this guy gets his rock again. Outer rock, you know, rock shell. Rocky rock and all, rock and rock and all. And then chili cookie tower, don't stop, don't stop. Saki no subete o. Mi cero yo rocky rocky no, rock and rock and all. What is this? Oh, oh it's a glunk spot! Ah, it did. Eh. Fine. <laughs> Alright, let's start the challenge, see what it is. Eight geo particles, huh? Uh, ah, no! Uh, no! I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> I'll just try again after this. <laughs> ah! Didn't jump high enough. Mm. Alright, let's go again. Come on, come on. Why'd she die? Yeah! Okay, okay. Let's go! Yeah! Also, die! <laughs> Just only one of them? <laughs> but, yay! Oh, and then the statue is here. Nice. Um, where is it exactly? Oh, I guess it's there? Maybe? Tsuiteikimasu! Yoisho! Uh, oh, it's even more above. Uh, mm, okay. So, what is this? Can I? Oh, is this? Do I need to use geo attacks? Oh, that didn't really do anything. Nothing. Oh, is this um? Mm, I was gonna say, is this the thing where you need to hit the the things, and then maybe it'll like resonate or something? I don't really see any of them here. I think so. <laughs> That's so much fun. It's only gonna take some getting used to, though. Wow. Um, I should have been marking things. I feel like I'm gonna. Um. What am I even doing? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Didn't mean to do that. Can I hit this again? Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Scared me. <laughs> Yay! Just oh, and there's the statue. Just beat these guys up first, I guess. Music. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ooh, precious chest. 
Okay, nice, nice. There's nothing in here, I suppose. Yeah. Okay. Statue! Okay. Ah! Okay, got it. <laughs> Yay! Oh, I'm. <laughs> I wonder who's not gonna be able to break these quickly. At least. Nice! Sorry! Meow! The world opens itself before those with noble hearts. Wow! <laughs> Yay! Chasm Conqueror. <laughs> Has a nice ring to it. Um, let's see, there was a chest. There's that chest that had like the the wind current around it. Then there's also that one. Hmm. Oh, there's the the viewpoint over here too. So I guess I might as well just get it. Oh, and there's a Chingshin as well. What is this one random hillatrol doing here? Ah, uh, what did someone else spawn in? Where are they? Huh? Eh? Oh. Yeah, they are, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Eh? Where? How? <laughs> Why is the chest still locked? With the viewpoint right now, I guess. Um, how should I get it? <laughs> really though. Oh, there's a new unique rocks a mysterious uniquely shaped rock related to the special rock pillars nearby it seems to receive a certain resonance from those pillars perhaps the number of symbols on that rock has something to do with the number of resonances it receives in a short period of time oh i see mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, well, I guess I'll just mark this area on my map for now. I'll come back to it later. Oh, please meet. Chess? <laughs> oh, actually, hang on. I'm gonna go use the restroom. <laughs> BRB.
Hello, I have returned. Wahaha. <laughs> Wahaha. Wonderful. <laughs> oh yeah, man. I really am excited for that the ID Smile event. The art, the cards are so pretty. Ow! <laughs> And Mizuena, four stars. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. One month, and then I can use my stars. And then, well, actually, they're not stars, are they? Gems, I guess. <laughs> but, and then after that, I'm gonna save for the limited Nigo cards. The ones that are like modeled off of tar tarot cards. They're really pretty. <laughs> yes! Mizuena real. <laughs> Mizu blah, blah. Mizuena so real, in fact. <laughs> well, do you know what I'm talking about? Like, have you seen them? If not, I'll put them up. <laughs> They're so pretty. No, Paha, I haven't really gotten into the cards yet. I see! Then, after I get this chest. Here. Let's see. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> oh, la, 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 la. Man, <laughs> I keep on looking at the, uh, the wrong events, but all of the events have such pretty cards. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Let's see, where is it? What was it called, actually? I feel like I'll hopefully recognize it when I, like, see the logo, maybe? Okay, okay, it's this one, it's this one. <laughs> uh, here, if you... If you go to the link, then I think you can, like... Wait, is this the right... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is right. I got confused for a moment, but yes, yes. And then from here you can look at the cards. You can like click on them to see the full images, but they're so pretty. 
Oh, and then this is where you can get uh, long hair, Anna. <laughs> the hairstyle. It's so pretty. I really love um, in the uh, the trained art the like texture that the images have like they look really cool you know like they'd be like nice to touch <laughs> yeah but yeah so let me see actually when when is that event mm. My footprints, your destination. See, it was on like the beginning of November 2021 on JP server. I see. Is it right after the other one you showed? Uh, the other one being like the the one I posted about on Twitter. Because that one's happening in like a month. But this one with the like, uh, these are limited. This, the one with the like cool tarot inspired chain cards. This one is happening not for a long time, I think. Like, let me see where we are now. Hmm. Let's see at the beginning of March-ish for JP when JP had it so then that one um, the one I just sent the link to this one is going to happen in about like 8 months-ish from now yeah so after this the ID smile event that's happening in like a month I'll just save up for this one I think <laughs> they're so pretty La 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 la. <laughs> oh, good. I can save up for both then. Yeah. <laughs> la, eight months. Yeah, looking pretty far into the future. There is, um. Yeah. There are gonna be other cards along the way too, I think. But. You know, they'll be added, like, to the pool and stuff, but the tarot-inspired cards are limited, so... They won't be added to, like, the regular pool, you know? So you gotta get them during that period. What was I doing? <laughs> oh. I got that chest, that's right. Mm -hmm. Yep. Maybe I'll go get that waypoint. I'll just ignore him. <laughs> hmm. Where should I go now? <laughs> okay, I guess I'll go to the next thing. Well, no, I want to see. Let me activate the world quest. Well, I'm here, I guess. <laughs> Wong. Oh, great Middle-earth heroes! Please see to it that the chasm does not act up these few days. And may we be safe and sound as we descend into the mines this time. And may those comrades of ours who no longer come to mine also farewell in their respective paths. Protect us, brave Middle-earth. Protect us! Hmm? What is it? Can I help you? 
You're praying to this thing? What is this thing? Well, I'm praying at this Millilith Memorial. I mean, it looks like a pile of unassuming rocks, but it's actually been here for 500 years now. The chasm is under the protection of the Millilith, so every time we have people descend into the mines, we will pray here for, those, for the heroic souls of those who have passed to protect us. They have long since turned into elements and become one with the mine, so when we pray for their protection, we're also showing our reverence to the chasm itself, you know? The ancients said, that the earth has a spirit and the elements have souls. Those who sacrifice their lives so that we might live watch over us in similar fashion, so I believe. 500 years ago? That's right. Back then, a dark calamity swallowed the chasm, and Rex Lapis commanded the Millilith to stand guard over the ore veins. That was a terrible battle. Led by Ayaksha, the Millilith came forth to stem the tide. In the end, a group of them led the foe into the depths of the chasm, and thus quelled the unrest. It is said that this memorial was set up for them. Huh. Paimon didn't think that these ugly stones would have such history. <laughs> Paimon's so insulting. <laughs> Don't disrespect the fallen, little one. <laughs> Don't you worry, this little one won't fight. <laughs> Who's the little one? <laughs> Whatever the case, this is a pretty familiar story to anyone who grew up around the chasm as we did. There are many versions of the tale, too, which sprung up over time. If you were to talk to someone else, they might tell you a different story. Maybe this is the charm of history? Not that I'm particularly cultured, mind. <laughs> but I'm just saying, you know? Ah yeah, speaking of which, there's always been a rumor going around. It says that these stones hide another secret that might lead a discerning person to treasure that the Millilith left behind. Treasure that they left behind? Could you give us some details? Let's just say that Paimon's interest has been piqued. <laughs> uh, it's just a rumor, but it's one that's got to do with the Millilith member who created this memorial in the first place. So this was the work of a Millilith soldier? Indeed. Both the Millilith and the miners of the chasm set memorials up back then. The battle ended, but many of their comrades now rest eternally in the depths of the chasm, together with that nameless Yaksha. One of those soldiers fell from a great height. Uh, the sound of the walking scared me a little. I was like, what was that? It was me, <laughs> apparently. Um, fell from a great height while helping to evacuate the miners and beat back the enemy, injuring his spine and becoming unable to move on his own power as a result. But later, it is said that he was not daunted by his circumstances, instead becoming a self-taught and much famed doctor who would help those in the same situation as himself. It is said that this memorial was something he set up to remember his comrades by after he had obtained a vision. His story would gradually fade from history, being replaced with the tales of the Millilith's treasure and the Yaksha's inheritance. Those are just baseless tales. We miners generally prefer to keep our feet firmly planted, so I don't give much credence to these tales. Still. Still? No, it's nothing. I just mean that I won't laugh if you do actually go looking for that treasure. I've given it some thought, and, occur and it occurred to me that while the tales of treasure might all be false, they exist as a way for generations of people to ensure that stories are passed down and not forgotten by later, later generations. Whatever the case, the one who offers up six, get, six items lost within the chasm before the stone will be awarded the gifts of the Millilith. That's how the story goes. And these six items are the Helm of the Warding, which may defend one from rock falls. Oh yeah, I was thinking about songs to collab and drop pop candy is a much easier song to sing to. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. First of all, it's so high. And then... They talk so quickly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Drop pop candy is really cute. <laughs> I think that would be fun too. Yoke. <laughs> Yeah, most songs I was thinking were just doing an octave down or something. I don't know. Yeah. 
ラララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララララ
Ah, ladylike sounds so nice. <laughs> the top comment pinned by Kira. Give me English as the progenitor of fifth wave feminism. <laughs> Oh yeah, another song I've been listening to a lot lately is um, Beat Eater by Police Piccadilly. It's a... Uh, it was a commissioned song, actually, for Project Zikite. It's a vivid Bad Squad song, but it's a really good song. Nodding, nodding. Ah, there's an ad. Trying to listen to the first part of Digital Girl. <laughs> I'll have to listen to that. Yeah. <laughs> My name is Perfection. <laughs> this is a girl is fun. <laughs> I like it. But oh, Bakusho sometimes by Shudo. I like Shudo. I really like um, Bitter Choco decoration. And uh, lately I've also been listening to Jackpot Sad Girl, you know. It was commissioned by him for Project Sakai. And then, uh, cute to na kanajo. <laughs> I haven't heard Bakusho, I think. Bakusho sounds good. <laughs> His voice is really nice. Yeah, ooh, cute kanojo is good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah is what I want to do too. The lyrics are so good. <laughs> oh yeah, hiccup. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I saw the... Um, <laughs> Ina and Kiara cover. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. What was I gonna say? Hmm. Oh, but yeah, the uh, Wakada da Verita by Hiragi Kira is in Project Sekai. I don't know if you've heard it in there before. It's the one that goes like, you know. I I I hate you. Na 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 na. This no. Da 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 da. Hi hi. So that's ne. So no tori desu. Da 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 da. Pam pa da pa da pa dum pa dum pa da pa da pa dum pa dum. And then that book got. Auto did a like simultaneous release, I guess, with Hiragi Kirai. So there's like the two versions, but it's like. Da book got. Da 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 book got. Da book so desu ka. Ah, oh, yeah, that was like the very first cover I heard from Toa like two years ago. <laughs> that was right when I got into VTubers. Yeah, man, isn't it like weird how much time has passed since then? Like, I was looking at, um, my old drafts of my VTuber model. And it's like, man, that was like more than a year ago now. Isn't that wild? 
two years. Well, like these past three years haven't really felt real. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was fishing for Vandori and D4DJ screenshots on my Twitter, so it was quite the trip. Yeah, man. Wow. Alright. Okay, back to the game, I guess. <laughs> but, man, yeah. Wow. These years, these past few years, really have not felt real at all. The cup of commons made to memorialize com com uh, comradeship. My brain kept on wanting to say camaraderie. <laughs> the sky feather, the symbol of lofty ideals. The warrior sphere used to fend off the foe. The flower of farsight, which grew upon the cliffs of the chasm. And the sundial of ages used to remember the bygone past. Well, that wasn't confusing at all. No, sir. <laughs> Paimon, <laughs> you sure this wasn't all made up by people later? So these items can all be found within the chasm? Sounds dubious to me. I've got no clue. Maybe they were all made up. That would certainly explain why no one's found the legendary treasure this whole time. Ah yes, speaking of which, there is another memorial that I mentioned, yes? Ah, everyone's just busy themselves with their own separate things after the chasm was closed. No one's kept that place clean, I'll bet. Could you help me go over there and just tidy the place up? Just a little will do. Alright. We'll not do that right now, though. There's a CLE over there calling my name. Sand bear wood. I need it. I need it for the furnishing set that Kuching and Gung are both like. <laughs> so, man, I wonder, like, what is wrong with the teapot? <laughs> like, I wonder how long it's gonna take them. I don't know if you saw, but they are, like, you can't place anything in the teapot right now. And so, like, every week until the issue is fixed, they're giving realm currency. To the players. <laughs> you had no idea. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Uh, where are they? All the way up there, huh? Should some you really make it from here? No. <laughs> Angle is too steep. We <laughs> It's so much fun how high you go. <laughs> Sorry, Albedo. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, put down your shield. <laughs> come on, come on. <laughs> Tried to throw a geo slime all the way up there. <laughs> well, too bad for you. Oh. 
Gone new gaming. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Let's go. Gone new impact. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Ah! Yeah! There's a bug! <laughs> it flew and got close to me. Ugh. Ah! Shooting at me! Yeah. Uh. A bug. <laughs> or perhaps a friend. <laughs> no. <laughs> Bugs are not my friends and they will never be my friends. <laughs> Thought she might fall for a second there. Stop it. Stop fooling you a lot, you guys. Stop. Stop. <laughs> I completely missed that shot. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> uh, I hate bugs though, man. Uh, I really hope it wasn't... Uh, I, I hate bugs in general, but I hate cockroaches. Well, I mean, it, wasn't, it definitely wasn't a cockroach. It was like way too tiny to be a cockroach, but I hate cockroaches and mosquitoes, especially. Cockroaches are just, uh, they're so large. Uh, and then mosquitoes. I always get bitten by mosquitoes. Like, and, and the bites, they swell up so much. Like, it's really annoying. Uh, they get like a little welt, kind of, on them. Like, there's like, uh, uh, there's like a little thing of puss, you know? Uh. Where did it go? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Why? Let me get this first. <laughs> Girl who doesn't hate cockroaches. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Please don't fall again. It's not so bad up here just without us. The cages that are too big for their own good. I see. Honestly, my apartment, I got, I'm, luck, luckily, there's like not really bugs here, even though I'm like close to ground level, you know? But, the mosquitoes, man, the mosquitoes! Uh, they, always, they bite me so much, too. Like, they bite me so much, and I have such terrible reactions to them. <laughs> so it's just all around bad. What was I doing? I think there was a ceiling near here. Oh, but I was gonna say, the other day, I was walking back home to my apartment, like I was, I don't know where I'd gone, I'd like gone out to do something, but I'd come, I'd come back and I just saw a dead mosquito on the floor and it's just, uh, I hate seeing like, the appendages, you know, like the the legs and stuff. Like, why are mosquito legs so long? Uh, I hate them. Fish, come over here. <laughs> but yeah, uh, SK has definitely flown into my car window when I was ordering McDonald's in the summer. No, ah, that sounds horrible, terrifying. I would freak out. I would just get out of the car, to be honest. <laughs> I would like open all the doors and windows and just leave. <laughs> Get over here. Uh, yeah. I just like, I cannot deal with bugs, man. Ugh, I hate them so much. Hey. Come on, come on. 
Yeah, buddy. Let's go. Just stop climbing. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, what is that? Huh? Disappear? Oh. Oh. I need to leave something on that? I guess so, huh? Is it geoconstruct time? Oh, there's a ruin guard over there. Ah, no! Oh no, he's gonna shoot at me! Ah, I took a picture! <laughs> so many things going wrong! Don't shoot at me again! Don't do it! I beg you! <laughs> Leave me alone! <laughs> this guy's just trapped by the tree, huh? Yeah. Oh, oh, here he comes. <laughs> well, yeah, take that. <laughs> That's what you get. <laughs> Yay, chest. Okay. Let me try to do the whatever thing I was doing again. What do you even call that? Like, what is this? What is this called? I don't know. Oh wait, let me get catching out. What's the poor albedo? I kept on getting hit. Uh... Here we go. Let me heal up albedo a little bit too. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright, let's go catching time. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna go up again. <laughs> Oopsie. I'm not I'm not good at parkour. What can I say? <laughs> Just falling through the holes. Thank you, Kachi. Tusk got it, truly. <laughs> Violet grass, yay! Oh, and there's a telefight waypoint. Over there. Was I doing something over there? Ah, uh, it's fine. I'll explore later. I'll explore more later. Yay! Alright. Gone you gaming! <laughs> Where's the last one? <laughs> ah! Why is it going so fast? <laughs> okay, yay! <laughs> Zooming. <laughs> Nice. Stop! Please stop! Let us explain! Aren't you guys just a bunch of treasure hearties? <laughs> Turn yourselves in. There's nothing to explain around here. Middle of squad leader, Yampo of the district, ca Chasm district, at your service. It's an honor to meet you, Freda. And you're our most eminent flying companion. Hey, hey, hey. It's Paimon to you, mister. 
<laughs> I apologize. I'm very sorry, but I think there's been a small misunderstanding here. So, you're not treasure hoarders? Well, no, just the opposite. <laughs> well, and you're not wrong to say that this area was indeed one of the treasure hoarders' lairs. After the workers were dismissed, those weasels wormed their way in here. At first they were just mining, smuggling some glazed sand crystal, and playing hide and seek with our patrols. But they would grow bolder as time went on, even breaking into and occupying the old warehouse that the miners left behind. They even used the tools there to make their own cheap little trinkets to sell. Ah, <sighs> breaks my heart every time. What breaks your heart? Such rough honed trinkets can only be used to cheat first time visitors to the Yue or some ivory tower scholars, and I'll bet that they'll try to get them on the market using lower prices too, perhaps even try undermining some legitimate brands. It's not like they've got any brand power themselves, right? That's true. I suppose it's a job in poor taste to think that they'd make good more joke in poor taste to think that they'd make good more off this. That's why we came here and took care of the treasure hoarders who originally held this position, before disguising ourselves as them and lying in wait. Well, that was a while back now. We had managed to certain thus far ascertain thus far that one of their leaders is in contact with a branch of the Fatui, and that they may be preparing a transaction involving dangerous items. And about the contact between the Fatui and the treasure hoarders. Although we foiled the Fatui's plots before, they maintain some strength out here in the wilds. Their professionalism and combat prowess are not to be underestimated. Indeed, we consider them opponents of the utmost peril. If they were to team up with the treasure hoarders to go against us, it could pose a very tricky security risk indeed. Whatever the case, we were fully prepared for an all-out assault. We just needed to catch them all in one fell swoop, and then we'd have known what they were up to. <laughs> and that's when we arrived. Uh, I mean, we knew that you were good, but we didn't think that you were this good. You pretty much incapacitated about half the people under my command. Of course, we were here for another reason. This is where one of the bedrock keys that hold up the Seven Star Ray is located. We couldn't let allow that to fall into the treasure hoarder hands. Um, sorry. Looks like we really beat up the wrong people this time. Well, yes, but as I said, the fault was ours first. Wow, this guy is pretty easy going, huh? Does this mean we can leave? Uh, so just because I don't blame you doesn't mean that the US laws won't. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, I didn't get to read what that said. Just clicked on instinct. Ah. Hmm, let me see. Battery and assault, obstructing the Millilith in their duties, attempting to destroy the Seven Star Ray, and damaging premises. Man, I mean, yeah, but we didn't know. <laughs> Even with the Millilith's consideration, congratulations, you'll be offered food and board in the UF for an extra five to ten years. <laughs> Ning Guang help, yeah. <laughs> Girl, help! Let's get there! Do I get a lawyer? <laughs> Yanfei, please help us! <laughs> That's right! Give us a name list! Uh, but uh, please let me finish! However, if law abiding citizens or outlander guests might use legal means to assist the middle in their duties, they can gain the reward and compensation due to them. This too is the law of the land. So don't worry, the fight, that fight previously was not utterly in vain. So what do we get from helping you? Well, stolen goods should not be so casually moved, but if you're willing to aid us, any items that you may coincidentally find along the way, for example, a treasure hoarder's secret stash or something, is yours to do with as you please. <laughs> Girl help, I'm under custody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Girl help. We accidentally attacked some middle with disguised as treasure hoarders and now they're threatening us. <laughs> we also have some more on us, which I hope you won't mind having. It's not a lot, but we weren't counting on needing outside help like this either. So, that means no jail time and treasure to be had. Is that right? Yes. Alrighty then, you've got yourself a deal, mister! Lead the way! One moment! <laughs> Alright, don't be too reserved now. I'm going to head to our rendezvous point to await further orders. Catch up soon, or we'll act first. Okay! Come 
on, let's follow him. Hey, come on. We're assisting with official duties, you know? And there's more to be had, too. <laughs> Sorry, by the way, for my terrible Paimon impression. <laughs> Not that great. <laughs> Trying my best. Voice. Oh, there's a tarp there. Probably not gonna be able to go this way, huh? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's a tarp there too. Are you even going the right way? Who? <laughs> oh. Ah, yes, 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 okay. Oh. Ah, it'll go up. Oh, wait, is there... Oh, uh, uh, is there another one above? Hmm. Oh, there's one over there. Yeah. Almost fell off. Hmm. <laughs> How should I do this? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Let's see, let me get Kuching. Just in case. I might need her. Uh, Yula. Ah, uh, Crystal Fly. Eee! Okay. <laughs> No, come back, platform. Please. Oh, wait, did it disappear? Aw. Oh. oh, wait, but there's one right there, too. Man, I'm not gonna make it in time. Wait. Ah! <laughs> Almost. Oh! Okay, whatever. It's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. I'll just activate this one too while I'm here. Come on, come on. Go, go up. Come on, no. <laughs> Why didn't it? Did I already run out? Ah. Oh well, okay. It's fine. <laughs> Man, just never come at the right time. Okay, okay. Yeah, buddy. All right, and then let's go over there. Hurry up and go, 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 Yeah! Ah! Did I get it? I think I did. Was there... Was there another one? Hmm? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> um... Let's see, do I need to... Uh, I need to do the thing they were saying. What are they doing? Was it this one? I think it was. No, that should be separate, right? Hmm. Was there another one? Oh, is this? Oh, there's a chest here. And then. Yeah, I guess. Is that here? Yeah. Here. Geogranon. Ah! I was like, what is that noise? It's my phone. 
Where is it? Oh, that's right. It's my meh. end call. <laughs> I forgot my phone was the for my face motion tracking. <laughs> uh, I keep forgetting to. I need to change my phone ringtone. It's a little embarrassing. <laughs> It's from the from Danganronpa 2, I think. I'm pretty sure I had said it as my ringtone like freshman year of high school or so. <laughs> so uh, it's been a while. It's been a little while and since then. <laughs> Man, it, it, it's loud. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> Wait, let me go get that chest. <laughs> Treasure hoarders are no match for me. <laughs> oh, I don't have Ganyu. Okay, kuching time then. Yeah! Oh, mine's really old too. I was gonna do the Kiri and Ning stuff and Rift Star, but I haven't gotten around to doing it yet. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but you know, when I was really little, um, I wanted to change it to the one from Lucky Lucky Star. I'm pretty sure Konata had like something from. The melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya as a ringtone, so I wanted to like copy her. <laughs> Which I never got around to doing, I guess. Yep. But actually no, I'm pretty sure I think I think actually I've had that as my phone ringtone since like middle school actually probably. <laughs> Dang no But yeah. Man, I've been feeling nostalgic lately for like um, stuff I watched during my childhood, you know, like Lucky Star, Melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya, etc. I might do a rewatch of them. <laughs> Lately I've been watching like older anime too, like I watched um, Welcome to the NHK recently and like Evangelion too. So I guess I can like, after I'm done watching the ones that I have planned now, I guess I'll go back and rewatch the ones from like my childhood and then I'll watch some more modern anime. We're back! The three bedrockies have all been destroyed! Shh! What's up all of a sudden? What happened? Are there enemies nearby? Don't start. It's nothing much. Just the earth shaking, that's all. Perhaps the mountain rocks are being destabilized by the loosening of the seal. Do you feel it? Not at all! You fly, so of course you don't. Huh. That's a good point. <laughs> I guess it's just a miner's instinct. If you grew up in a mine since you were young, you'd know a thing or two about the language of the stones. Look at this guy, he's just over here. <laughs> Wait, watch out! Whoa! The ground is really shaking! Paimon's having trouble standing straight! You don't stand at all! <laughs> ah! eh, the shaking stopped? <sighs> Looks like it's over for now. Thankfully, we were above ground. If we were in the mines when this earthquake happened, Hopefully, Muning and the others don't blame this on us. But now, the ceiling array's power has been greatly decreased. We just need to deal with that last bedrock key. Let's go! Alrighty. Oh, there's a challenge over there. Ah, Jingxi. Pretty high, I guess I probably won't make it. <laughs> I have to climb. I guess I can get the jing jing sheen along the way. Yes. Oh, blah, 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 blah. 
<laughs> I love Yula's laugh when you start gliding. <laughs> so sweet. I love Yula. <laughs> Time trial. Wait for her stamina to get back up. Yeah, almost missed the first one. Um, where am I going? Ah. Eh? Pretty high up. I hope I didn't miss one there. there but as for the last one I think I really did miss one didn't I ah yeah there's one up there well screwed now so <laughs> uh, where's this chest though <laughs> I'll go back later <laughs> hmm let's see one of these. Oh, this is just need one thing. I bet this thing doesn't work for this, right? Yeah, no. Uh, I'll get Amber out. Where is she? Amber. Come back. Go, Baron Bunny! Huh? Why is it not? Why didn't it count Baron Bunny? Why is it not working? <laughs> okay. I'll just mark this for later then. <laughs> uh, pressure sleep. Um. I guess it doesn't reach far enough to get to here, huh? It's probably what you need the <laughs> pressure plate thing for. Hmm. Go beat up these guys, I guess. Wow, Pinewood's never seen raw minerals this huge as a wooden side and beside it too. Let's go take a look. Whoa, the ground shaking. Look at the poor lapis. Look, the shockwaves are traveling between the minerals, so this is the resonance between geo constructs, huh? Wow. Sure is going, huh? Oop. Oh wow. Oh wow. Things are taking damage over there. <laughs> just wanna watch it go. <laughs> Did stuff die? <laughs> wow. Oh, core lapis. I like the sounds this thing is making. <laughs> Like satisfying. Oh, but take note. This is a relic from battles of old that Vex Lapis bequeathed onto us. As such, please stick by the various safety guidelines. Do not make any ruckus around it or forcibly move it. If any accidents happen due to such tomfoolery, let the blood be on your own head. <laughs> Alright, well, fine by me, I suppose. Can I hit this one too? No, I suppose not. Hmm. Alright, I guess I'll get back to the <laughs> the quest and look for the final bedrock key. <laughs> get a little bit sidetracked. Oh, there's a chest. <laughs> the enemies here just died from hitting it. <laughs> Hmm. 
けねおお、this is バーンバニーワークですうんえっ There's no way I could make it in time <laughs> I guess this is definitely where you're having like. Well, do John Lee's pillars work for these? I feel like they do, right? Well, anyways. Ancient stone tablet. The Dragon King traversed the mountains and the hills collapsed with a sigh. Bishops and other beasts stalked the wide glazed plains. Rex Lapis called upon the people in haste, and we must not tarry for all the profit in the world. I too shall come forth, armor, bow, and all. We shall sacrifice ourselves for the nation, though our chances of returning be slim. Let the mourners mourn. Death shall be our home. Wow. I'll mark this. <laughs> Amba! Mm. I already forgot what this thing was called. <laughs> Geobras. Let me take Amber out. <laughs> She's not built at all. I don't accidentally use her and then have her die or something. <laughs> accidentally switch to her, I mean. Is it up there? No, it's lower. Speaking of which, the old miners used to call these passing- Ah, Araka, what's that? Ooh, Paimon knows. It must be some plump giant buried beneath the mountains whose snorts caused the mountains to shake. Oh, Paimon. Well, that's not quite right, but it isn't far off either. Araka was a king who ruled Tiancho Valley in ancient times, dragon king of the mountains. It is said that he was defeated here by the Lord of Geo's martial mastery and sealed somewhere in Jiaoying Karst where he still resides today. This story sounds familiar. Hey, don't you mean Azdaha? <laughs> Maybe? I mean, the ones who spoke most confidently of the dragon king's tale were the old folks. Most of them passed on while I was still a kid. Blah blah. Still isn't the goal of venturing close to the truth babe underneath these tales and stories? Man, this go by quickly! <laughs> <laughs> um. What are you doing? Oh, is it even lower? Oh, the thing's gonna explode. Eee! Frog? Frogs! Two frogs! <laughs> Sore. Okay, there's one right there. <laughs> yeah, go get him, Eula! <laughs> Pretty. 
Very impressive. That should be the last one. With this, the array sealing the chasm has dissipated and we can explore the area underground. That said, we should probably go and pay Muning a visit first. Hmm. Not that he's going to do anything other than scold us, though. <laughs> Follow Chichong back to the camp. See, what did I say? You weren't guarding the warehouse as you should have at all. You've really done it this time, Chichong. How are you going to resolve this matter, huh? Are you going to take, to take responsibility for undoing the array of your own accord? Can you? Ah, uh, you're here. Uh, so how are you going to explain destroying the bedrock keys? <laughs> From an aesthetic point of view, this place looks much better without them. You. Ugh, alright, you're taking responsibility for this. As for the rest, we'll wait for the Qixing to make their judgment first. <laughs> don't you worry. Mooning only gets mad at people who don't care. Otherwise, he's just a worrywart. Not a bad person. Well, let's leave his crappy temper aside first. Once you're ready, I'll round everyone up to follow you down into the mines. Our purpose this time is to reach the deepest level of the chasm, map it, and uh, investigate the source of the anomalies. Ah yes, I almost forgot. Welcome to the chasm exploration team. Wow, <laughs> thanks. If you'll allow me a little bit of your time, let me introduce you to the team. This is Kadaif Kedivi, Kedivi, a scholar specifically called in from Sumeru. His specialties are ores and biology. He's this exploration team's leading man. Well, in scientific and financial matters, at least. This is Jingwu, who is in charge of safety. The repair and maintenance of any facilities we use and our securities and shared by her. And this is Talisin. Talisin? He's a bard from Mondstadt, and goodness knows why he insisted on coming down here with us. Also, perhaps you'll discover new allies once you get down to the mines, eh? <laughs> Who knows? And last but not least, you have me, the super hands-on surveyor. My job is to help scout the way forward and draw maps, which I'll share with you all, of course. Well, please head over to the crane by the mines once you're ready. Originally, it was meant to transport goods, but it can also bring a few people up and down the mines, no problem. Hmm, that said, since you have your wind glider, I suppose that you'd be fine even without the crane, eh? Is she Canadian? <laughs> Keep saying, hey. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah. Achievement. Chasm lighter. The seal is broken. I think I'll just activate these world quests. And then I'll probably call it a night. You see? Yeah. Archaic stone. Ah, in all the years I've worked in the chasm, I've barely even seen. I barely. I've barely seen even one. What are the big shots that Hui Shan Hall thinking? Let them do the job and they'll know how impossible the task is. Morning. Oh, it's you. Why are you still wandering on the upper levels of the chasm? Um, don't get me wrong. It's not that I don't welcome you here. I just wonder, uh, don't you have other important matters to attend to? What's this stream? Thank you. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> we were just kindly dropping by to check up on you since you look so troubled. What happened? Is anything bothering you? <sighs> Do you know about Archaic Stone? It's a rare ore. So rare that you won't even necessarily find one in the mines. I've only seen two or three such gems for all stones for all my years here at the chasm. It's such a gorgeous gemstone with beauty beyond imagination. They say that if you look inside the finest archaic stones, you'll see shimmering light rays as thin as hair, and that the stone's color reminds you of the sea horizon in the twilight. Do you mean a stone like this? Ah, uh, you! You actually have one! And it's of the highest quality that I've ever seen, too. Prana, how about you sell this stone to me? Dream on. Yep, it's a gift from a friend. Besides, Paimon seriously doubts if your pocket is thick enough to afford the hole this stone is going to burn through. Well, I've got a buyer behind me, so finances aren't exactly the problem. A buyer? 
Yes. Somehow, the big shots at Hui Shan Hall got interested in the stone and wanted to analyze it, so they sent me to the chasm to look for a few samples. But I'm busy getting my job over with. <laughs> I mean, doing my job. <laughs> ah. How about we make a deal, Piranha? If you find any archaic stones, bring them to me. In exchange, the reward promised by Hui Shan Hall will be yours. They don't have to match the quality of yours as long as they are archaic stones. Rewards from Hui Shan Hall! Normally I would handle the job myself, but my hands have been tied by various affairs here in the chasm lately, so please help me with this. Ah, that said, I'm not sure how many they want. How about you bring me three for starters? Alright, alright, we got it! <laughs> Yeah, core lapis. No, that's not core lapis. It just looked like it. <laughs> okay. And then this person. Taliesin. Ah, this doesn't make sense. How weird. It should be around here, but why can't I find it? What happened? My ring. It's gone. It means a lot to me. I must find it. What does it look like? It's made of brass and is inlaid with a beautiful red gem. I found it by a lava lake where the shadow dragon Durin fell into the legends. Or at least, this should explain why its luster resembles dark flames. Whoa! It is said that the Lord of the Abyss will fix its malefic gaze upon the ring bearer and send an army of darkness to hunt them down. Oh! <laughs> Dragon's mind doesn't have a lava lake. <laughs> My bad. As a poet, I have a propensity for dramatic language and novel tales. <laughs> Truth be told, I found the ring in a weasel thief's nest. Weasel thief? It was well preserved and eye pleasing, so I kept it. Huh! <laughs> so you're a thief too, you just stole from thieves! Don't say that. I chanced upon it. That's right, it was chance. And though chance it be, this ring is quite precious to me all the same. Do you have any clue concerning the ring's whereabouts? Yeah. I've heard that weasel thieves are often spotted around here. They might have stolen my ring while I was sleeping. Huh, so there really are people who take their rings off before going to bed. I'd never heard of such people before either. Anyway, Paimon doesn't have that habit. You need to think about where to put the ring once you take it off, or you'll be wasting good beauty sleep. Do they even make rings tiny enough for you, Paimon? Huh, of course they do. There's much you still don't know. Enough. Please refrain from judging other people's way of living before proceeding to ramble on about your own. It's very rude. <laughs> anyway, if you want to help out, please keep an eye out for weasel thief nests. I've heard that there is a camp of suspicious treasure hoarders around here on the map. I've marked the location out for you. It's said that weasel thieves are often spotted around here. Those sneaky treasure hoarders probably have something to do with them. Anyway, please take a look there. <laughs> A ring stolen from the weasel thieves, which was then stolen again by other, uh, the other weasel thieves. Time won't say it's gone back to its rightful owner. Oh, come on, just stop it already. <laughs> okay. This is where I stop. It was fun. Yeah. <laughs> but. Good night. Bye bye. <laughs> Thanks for coming to watch. See you. Ow.